Hello everybody and welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise! Today we speak with Guildmaster Hojo. Urgent quest awaits for us. Our task is to hunt down a rather large Rachna Kadaki, causing a disturbance in the lava caverns. The appearance of this monster is quite concerning as they've never been spotted in this locale before. This particular occurrence as well as Minoto's strange behavior as of late. Certainly there is a connection though. Did I miss a cutscene? I think I missed a cutscene. Hmm. Well, let's talk with me now. I might not have, and I'm just thinking a cutscene already happened. Guess what? Just uh, just came in for you. It's an urgent quest. Uh, what? Something seems off about me? I know it looks that way, but how do I explain it? Mm. Yeah, I definitely don't feel like myself. Maybe it's exhaustion. Who knows? Short rest and I'll be back to my old serious pants self. I'll be fine. I get back to this urgent quest biz. My biz is hunting a Rachna Kadaki. It bobs, it weaves, it's here, it's there, and suddenly fire everywhere. You know that? Because I'm not repeating it. Yeah, I don't think I had to repeat it either. And just to see, I do have all five of these. We do have more event quests we could be doing, like this this one here, but it's seven star. I mean, we're, we're about to unlock that. We do have this, which is six star. We could do it. I will do it. Not yet. Um, and I believe we have, yeah, we have these. Which, once again, are seven stars, so they can wait. Uh... <laughs> I just really want to do this quest. <laughs> I love Rakna Kadaki. Now before I get into this, one word of warning. Do not use a bow gun against Rakna Kadaki. If you have used exclusively bow guns up to this point, pick a weapon that isn't a bow gun that you think you could do better with, do at least good enough with, and use that. Rakna Kadaki is heavily resistant to bow guns. Like, extremely heavily resistant. So, you'll want anything but a bow gun. Let's get into this. Crawling with a mincing gait. Dressed in a white gown. Aimlessly she rolls. Without a crown. Her beloved children, always by her side, share their mother's temper and her fiery pride. I love Rachna Kadaki. Now, I will admit, I have arachnophobia. I'm only- my arachnophobia only seems to trigger at a certain point through the fight, of which it will become pretty obvious because I'll point it out. So, yeah. I, I can really like her most of the time. It's literally the one thing that keeps her from being my favorite monster of this game. But Grosshag wins because of that. So, I'm not gonna complain. I mean, I, I can't honestly say for certain. I just feel like Grosshog is a monster that probably doesn't get as much love as it deserves. <laughs> but, I mean, that's kind of to be expected. Rakna Kadaki, on the other hand, is definitely a popular monster. <laughs> Especially because of the uh, equipment set that you are able to make from her, which we will be seeing after this. And I freaking love, as do most people. Uh, <laughs> she has really good equipment. Well, it's not great skill-wise, I'll be honest. Kind of spoiling. I can't speak. Spoiler in that. 
saying that, but and I've already preemptively put the sun sunglasses on, so I am good. Minota wanted spirits protecting me, but I've got sunglasses. They do the same job and are far more efficient. I just tried to do the world climb faster method. I am sm I haven't even played world in a, like a few months. Why is my brain defaulting to world? <laughs> Use spat fire at the floor, clacky boy. It's not very helpful. Here she is. Rakna Kadaki is the monster that I really feel. Like the uh, Lava Caverns battle theme fits. Now, a big part of that is it's what was playing during her reveal. I can move. Use a cleanser. Why would I use a cleanser? I have Palamute. Palamute is better than cleanser. Now, I will say. Hey. Snow? But, uh... Yeah, we'll say snow. I say snow a lot. Uh... I will say, if you are going to insist on using a bow gun, aim for her head. You know, that very small target. Aim for that. That is the part of her that takes the most damage from bow guns, from what I remember. Take that, Rathalos! You ain't no king around here! <laughs> around here there are no kings, only corpses. See, right there with one of her parts broken, you might be able to see why um, she only really bothers me after a certain point in the fight. <laughs> And that's when all the webbing on her legs is gone. I don't know why, like, it has to be all the legs. Just one of them, it... I'm fine, but... Well, even, like, if it was three of them, I'd be fine. Two of them, I'm fine with. Ow. Ow. Well, there goes my moxie. And that's why I like having Moxie! Because <laughs> I make mistakes. Ow. The irony is, my first time fighting her, I was using this switch axe, but I was not using this armor. So. Now, if you're using Pierce Ammo against her, it's pretty easy to hit her head, but otherwise, hitting her head is not an easy task. Oh, no, you don't. Which is why I would very much just recommend you just don't. Just don't use a bowgun. Weapons like, say, the, uh, the sword and shield. And even, I'd say the Switch Axe, are pretty user-friendly. You just kind of mash buttons. So, you should be able to more than easily handle this hunt with, a, say, a sword and shield. A long sword, really. You just mash ZR whenever the, the bar is full, and you'll probably do just fine. Um... The switch axe, it's pretty simple. You literally just... Yeah, there we go. Now my arachnophobia is going all... Bleh. I do not like her like this. <laughs> the way my brain just put it. I don't like her when she's naked. Yeah, I mean... With how her design is, she is effectively naked right now. I should have a sensor bar over here. I'm not going to, because that would ruin the video. Uh, 
Well, I suppose she still has her veil on. As you could probably guess from the uh, the intro bit, she's wearing a wedding dress, a Japanese wedding dress. I forget what the, the type, what it's called, but if you search Japanese wedding dress, you'll probably find it. Here she goes dressing again. Thank you, Rakunakadaki. I have fought her enough, and I've played enough Earth Defense Force that it didn't bother me as much as it probably would have had I not played a lot of Earth Defense Force. Ow. Let me heal, please. I do not wish to be smacked with your, with your butt. I don't want it. You did it anyway. Not very nice. You really shouldn't shove your butt in people's faces without consent, Kakadaki. It's inappropriate. You will get cancelled. Okay. And sharpen. I I love how she has attacks that Harken back to a lot of the other monsters we've fought. Like her charge there, where she flung two of her children ahead as well. That's Great Azuchi. She's working in tandem with her children. Just like the Great Azuchi does. Which is really cool. Goes, I could have waited to sharpen. Not sharpen. Yeah, I could have waited to sharpen. Brain, work with me here. My brain is currently going, no, Maple Story. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Maple Story lately. Even by the time this comes out, I will probably still be playing quite the amount of Maple Story. Just because Maple Story is a great game. That still holds up. Like, it's one of the few really old MMOs that still plays as if it came out, like, this year. Because it's so simple. Like... Damn it. Latte. Snow. Or I'm just free. Yeah, you really don't need to use cleansers. Though... Ow. A cleanser is... You know, it's still recommended to have them. The game gives them to you. So you have no reason not to have them. Like, I could have been out of this a lot faster had I just cleanser. But that does take swapping to it. Yeah, that attack. That's basically Great Azuchi in a nutshell. Only you can't really kill her little babies. You can knock them out of her, but you can't deal damage to her. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm on fire! Back. Her head is breakable. So, you know, if you can aim for the head, try to aim for the head. Though, so, her butt is also breakable from what I remember. I could be remembering that wrong, though, so. Her head, her front mandibles, are both breakable. Ooh, that's close. Ow. <laughs> ah, jeez. Fire! Fire! Snow, I've got you. Oh, you got yourself. 
Don't just run immediately back into it. Thank you, Steph. Uh-oh. Rolling. Ah, I didn't get it the way. Okay, let's see if I can get Affinity Slider rolling again. Slide? Slide? No. I tried. Uh, sliding is so weird. Slide? There we go. Latte. Latte, thank you. Oh, jeez. You missed! And I can't bounce! I am waiting to sharpen. I shouldn't. I should be sharpening right now. But I also really get the feeling she's about to move. So. Hey, there's her mandibles. <laughs> so I thought I just saw I'm playing Maple Story, just expecting you guys to know what it is. It's a really old MMO made by Nexon. Korean MMO. It's actually, I think, the first Korean MMO I ever played. Oh no, you don't. It is effectively just level grinding the game, but they have actually gone through a decent amount of effort to add some level of story for every character. It can get silly, but there is actually story now. Sometimes it can also get a bit annoying. Um, case in point, the, uh, the, the character I've been playing recently, I started in Adele. Well, Adele has roughly its first 30 some levels of effectively tutorial and story. When, you know, all I want to do is go kill things, level up. That's what the game's about. Um, the game's like, nah, story. And, you know, I don't overly mind. But it did get a bit annoying because I expected like the tutorial quest type quest to end at like level 10 or so like, with most other characters, but nah. <laughs> she carries on. She is a really fun character to play though. It's very easy for her to punch above the weight. She's really nice in Maple Story. Back here. I just sharpened my axe and everything, Raknikadaki. Sharpen it again for you. She's going up there to eat something, I know. Yep, see? <laughs> that is the advantage of having that subquest running. Is you know when the monsters have gone to eat something. Aside from just knowing that they're off eating something. Because it tells you that you've slayed something. Okay. Um. Run you into the wall there. Can I run you into that? Yes, I can. She's weak right for the capture, but I'm gonna slay her. Partially because I just want to see if I can actually manage to break her head. <laughs> I 
Uh, yeah, you guys don't want to be here. She will eat you. You know, I've heard people say that's like one of her most devastating attacks, but it's so easy to get out of the webbing. I really just don't see it. Plus, it's also pretty easy just to get out of the way of it. That, on the other hand, can be a little bit of a pain, but... We... She knocked us off the ledge, we immediately got unwebbed. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm really gassy for some reason. Like, that isn't really the hardest thing to dodge. Not gonna lie. It's I need to heal. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna try and latch onto her face, but no, no, I need to try to heal. That is what I need to do. Rathalos. Okay, something hit me. <laughs> I have no idea what. Let's get sharpened again. I'm gonna take the sunglasses off. They're bothering my nose. I know I just need to wear them more. They're bothering my nose. <laughs> Yeah, also it may be pretty obvious. Uh, don't use fire against her. She's immune. Once again, it's kind of pretty obvious, but... Y you know there'd potentially be somebody to be like, I You didn't say not to use fire, and I used fire and she was immune. It's pretty obvious the quest title is literally can't kill it with fire. But you know there'd be that person eventually. Oh, God damn it. Latte! A little help. Latte, that is not what I need! Good lord, Latte! Do you want me to die? <laughs> yes, yes he does. You can't hide it. Below. No, just below. Stop. No, stop! Game! I want to reload! Good lord. I really wish you could just reload that at any time. Like, that is my only major complaint with the Switch Axe. Is just how many times that will happen. Where I'm like, no, I want to, I want to reload, let me reload, and it's like, <laughs> no, I'm gonna recover just that little bit too much, and now you can't. Because if we hadn't reloaded, we wouldn't be full by the time we get to where she is. We just wouldn't be. This is not enough time. We'd be... About three quarters, but I want to be full.
I don't know how she can sleep with all those bugs puttering around her head. That'd be so noisy. Yeah, Latte, I know. She's been ripe for the capture for quite a while now, Latte. Going on five minutes, there we go. Just as I mention it, she dies. I think that's the first time I've ever slain a Rachna Kataki. <laughs> I didn't realize she did the spider thing. Oh. Okay. Like, I'm gonna need to double check my own save. Yet, yeah, no, I've never seen her slain before. That is the first time I've slain a Rock Nekadaki. Neat. Do I need hunting helpers? No, I don't. I need Spira bugs, don't I? There's none here. I need mushrooms. There's a mushroom. Any account items? No. Well, I tried. <laughs> and we get stuff. Lots of stuff. And some money. Money's really good. We're back. The researchers saying that Rachna Kadaki was acting the same as other monsters under Ibushi's influence. I thought the wind serpent, wind serpent tucked tail and ran off. If Ibushi's out of the picture, what's causing this mess? Something ain't right. It's almost as if a second rampage is brewing. Where is my queen? Where is my queen? That is what Hinoa heard when resignating with Ibushi. Even with his lead, we're getting nowhere. That is until now. Discovered what this queen is, or rather, Minoto has. For better or worse, looks like Minoto also has the gift of resonation with monsters. In this new information, the guild has confirmed that this queen is an elder dragon, and its name is Thunder Serpent Narwa. If we're ever going to stop the rampage and free Kimura from this calamity, we need to slay the fiend. If all our scouts start searching for the Thunder Serpent, it won't take us long to locate it. When that happens, the final battle will be ours to fight. Until then, we'll continue to do seven star quests. Hey. Now we have a lot of talking to do. Big Muse from the canteen. The class of Dango has been cranked up. What's wrong? Quit the long face today. Huh? Are you worried about me resonating with Thunder Serpent Narwa? I appreciate your concern. It's the first time I'd experienced it, so I apologize for my reaction. You needn't worry. Constant stream of thoughts can be distracting, but I forgot about it because I'm glad to have the same power as Hinoa. Enough about me. Your quests! Uh, I've almost pinpointed the location. Yeah, I mean... We'll, we'll look at the quests tomorrow. We're not gonna... Eh, no, we'll look at them today. So let me pick one between episodes. So we have Grasshog! Magna Marlo! Elmadron! Diabolos! Tigrex! Rajang! Elmadron and Mitsun! Tobikadachi! Nagakuga! Tigrex in the arena. <laughs> Rakadakadaki and Kezu, which is... It may as well just be this quest again, let's be honest. Not to be rude to Kezu, but Kezu's kind of weak by now. Uh, Rajang and Zenogar. Diabolos and Anjanath. And Grasshog and Tetranodon. A lot of monsters. I might actually do some event quests, I don't know. Some sweet tatayas, fiddling with the Melton pot. Melton's now better! There's also a sale going on, so there's lottery. 
We have more quests! New Bunny Dongo, and uh, pretty snazzy. New Bacon Method tastes even better. And heard the Marshmallow and Laglos. What? <laughs> I've never stopped to read this. Oh! Magnamalo and Rathalos, okay. Um, like the recipes are even better, yep. So many people. This guy wants something. What do you want from me this time? Yep. Uh, do you need anything? Okay, we still need to forge, just need to forge more equipment. We don't really have a reason to. We have Rajang equipment. Um, yeah, the melting pot's better. Yeah, I already know this. I am going to stop and lottery jackpot. Yeah. And now we have moon bow or moon bow. Now we can get critical eye charms 10% of the time. And these take 150 materials. These will eat your materials, but as you noticed here, defender tickets are a thing. It's three fives for one thing, and you can make three talismans at a time. So, you yeah, know, it could be worse. Um, our older materials here are still usable as well. I'll actually set some of this up. We don't need these. Uh, there's two of them. Bam. I'm going to set up a few for Critical Eye. Let's actually just use three of these. I'll cut down on this a little bit. Um, nah, I might actually want those. That's the thing, is trying to remember what I might want and what I'm not going to want anymore. <laughs> Let's come all the way down here, because we have a few things here. There we go. That will create six talismans for us in two quests, which is pretty handy. Thank you for your patronage. An important matter to discuss. And uh, from, from Nakago and the others, now forge more decorations. See you later. Yep. Now I think we have basically all of the decorations unlocked. Kind of. There are still more. Um, recoil down. Increased handling, reduced stun duration. This is nice. <laughs> this is something I've been wanting for a while, and I might find a way to add it into a bunch of armors because preventing stun would be so nice. Uh, past that, I think that's all that's really new. Once we start getting more materials, though, because basically you need at least something else part of the jewel, if, well, like the decoration. If you even have the base jewel. We don't have all of the base jewels yet. Like the blood run jewel. We th that's, that's only like the second one. There's another above it. So. Now. We do have a bunch more armors to look at. But here is the Rakna Kadaki armor. You can probably see why people like this armor. The male is a tu wedding tuxedo. The armor itself isn't bad. Like, this, mixed with, say, shrapnel, burst firing, is great. But the issue is, that's really all it does. I mean, you get faster reload speed. But when you compare this with the Puke Puke armor, the Puke Puke is arguably better. Because you might not be dealing as much damage, but you're dealing more effective damage because you have more ammo to spend. So, and that's only really a spread in shrapnel. So, you know, still cool looking armor though. And it's got a lot of slots. You could legitimately use this armor as melee armor just fine. The Gargoyle Mask. It's just, <laughs> it's this. <laughs> Aren't I a beautiful bride? <laughs> 
It's... I mean... I wouldn't use it. No slots, it's just kind of... Renovula... Bug! Butterfly armor! This is pretty cool! Like, this, quite honestly, is what I would consider probably the best dragon armor. Outside of one Elder Dragon. We need literally two Wrathless skill pluses to make it. I am probably going to make this armor. We just need Wrathless scale pluses, which means I might end up... Well, we have a quest to fight a Wrathless and a Magnum Molo. Uh, and they are Wrathless on its own. Now, is there anything else in here new? Now, there's these. Which, I mean... You can find things to go with it, and if you like Mushroom Answer, um, lets you just eat mushrooms. I don't know the effects of just eating the mushrooms. Um, I wouldn't call these particularly worth wearing unless you can make them back at this point, like really early on. Um, later things are just kind of better. But yeah, as a bit of referencing, our Kadachi armor has four critical eye at base. And so does this. This also has critical element. Which is nice. Because that's more elemental damage during a crit. One evade window isn't bad. The dragon attack of five is a maxed dragon attack. Like, this is pretty good dragon armor. So, I will probably be making it. And there's lots of wibbly bits. Wibbly bits are always fun. Now, just to make sure that nobody over here wants to talk with us. Someone over here probably wants to talk with us. Yep. <laughs> How did I know? Got an important message. Yeah, survey further off territories. Different materials. Okay. It's like a few quests before they're done. Oh no, they are done. How long have they been done? I'm an idiot if they've been done for a while. Sinister Dark Cloth. More Sinister Dark Cloth. So now we can head to the Lava Caverns too. Um, Fish, fish, fish. Plants. Bones. Let's go Bones. I forget the group. I think it was these two, and two from over here. There was only one from over here. That's two. Okay. Um, yeah, that's good enough. Wonder how long they've been here. Easiest way to tell. Hey, how long you got left? Okay, they just came in. I'm not as much as an idiot as uh, I'm not as much of an idiot as I thought I was. Ugh. Slow down and talk. We actually have all of the butterfly beetles I need, which is strange. I was not expecting that. Wait, I should check. This. Yes. Yes. And I'll take one of these. Um, and I'll take these. And this. Why not? We've got points. I mean, we have far less now, but we got points. Well, with that, and with a whole new star of quests available to us, I thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you back here tomorrow! As we start taking on seven star quests, or we might actually do that. No, we'll do that six star event quest. We should probably get that out of the way. See you all then!